This is the LG Voyager recently released by Verizon. It is slightly thinner than the Envy that was the older version of the Verizon uh, flip phone with a QWERTY keypad. This one has a 2 megapixel camera. The battery is on the back of the phone with um, takes up a generous amount. You can see by the outline of that it's squarish. And there's also a antenna pullout down here on the bottom for mobile TV. The phone is OTA capable. There is some uh, buttons on the left side of the phone, which is right where the hinges are on the top. There's the camera button to be used for the front screen to be used as a viewfinder. The what well, appears to be a lock button or function key or some sort of that. Um, the volume keys just to below that. Then there is a micro SD slot right there, and then the charger port down at the bottom. I believe that is it for buttons on the phone, but there is a either 2.5 millimeter or 3 millimeter. I'm sure it's 2.5 millimeter, which is the smaller headphone jack, which is usually used for microphones and other sorts. On the front of the phone is touchscreen. It's Verizon branded, of course. There are some keys in the bottom of the phone, send and end keys, and it's covered with a grill. It's plastically plastic like as well as the top and of course it's trimmed to look nice with a silver bezel. Let's turn this phone on and see what the features are. There is the noticeable Verizon wireless logo. To unlock the phone, you will use the outside screen. You need to touch it to unlock. It is touch sensitive and touch um, responsive, so sometimes it needs to be calibrated, and of course, it always has problems. And on this, for the inside of the phone, the usual QWERTY keypad, you can see it's quite large. The inside has plenty of features, buttons, and all kinds of other functions that you can access. The NV is similar to this in design, except the most notable feature is that the screen is improved. The screen is larger diagonally. The speakers on the side of the phone produce really, uh, really good quality sound and to access most of the options you need to open up the screen but as I said the outside screen is touch sensitive so you can access a lot through that as well as for the menu it's the usual boring Verizon menu with the standard layout of course it has been upgraded slightly with their new generation of phones but it's still Verizon and it's still not that great you can't really customize it that much and it's still got the red boring red colors to some it may be appealing but to most it's just the boring Verizon menu and for the settings there are Bluetooth menus sounds display settings this camera getting focused you can see that Okay, there's phone settings, call settings, touch to be calibrated the outside screen and stuff. Um, there's a memory card option so you can put music and stuff on there of course. Phone info. Let's go to software and hardware version just in case any of you are interested. It's 1.2 Bluetooth which has been crippled by Verizon. 
it does not support a lot of Bluetooth profiles as in Bluetooth 2.0. All the standard boring Verizon icons, black and white, not much for customization. This phone does support EVDO. <clears throat> it also supports mobile TV as I was mentioning previously. And <clears throat> I will now show you the pullout antenna I was talking about. And this can be used for mobile TV on the outside of the phone as well as opening the phone which I feel is a lot more comfortable and appealing it has a nice look to it like a mini laptop almost has a really nice form factor once it's opened but to call to make calls you have to close the phone and use this as a candy bar phone, the uh, speakers on the top to make calls for that function. Also, I will now show you the camera mode as I was talking about, but apparently you need to unlock it whenever you do that. Okay. Okay, and here is the camera mode. As you can see, it's slightly dark in this room, so it's not very, not much to see. A couple of cables, PlayStation 3. And there's also a lot of on-screen options with this as well. You can touch the screen for that. And then it gives you a whole variety of options. You can zoom in with the volume keys. You can't zoom in a whole lot, but you can zoom in and it does still have that option. Overall, this phone is pretty nice, except that it's still got the old plain boring menu from Verizon. It does have a lot of upgraded features from the Envy. It still is a nice phone, um, even though it's still been crippled by Verizon as they normally do. Anything else is, everything is just still, you know, it's been upgraded. The keypad's a little bit better, there's more tactile feedback, and the phone does have haptics on the front, which is um, vibration feedback when you touch anything on the outside screen. But... For some users, the outside screen is giving problems, such as now. Outside menu is basically just the inside, just shown a little bit differently. And that is the LG Voyager. Thanks for watching.